Today on the podcast, we're featuring the Los Angeles punk rock blues artist, Ben Connolly. He has a bold and refreshing sound that is emotional, yet also upbeat and exciting. Learn more about Ben and listen to his track, Thanks for Something. Welcome to the Eat, Sleep, Breathe Music Podcast, where we talk all things music. I'm your host, Jeanette Kinzel, music blogger and enthusiast. Let's get started with today's episode. Just popping in to give you guys a heads up. This podcast contains paid promotional content. That means we were compensated for the feature. All opinions are our own, and we only choose to represent music that we truly dig. Now on with the show. Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast. Today I'm talking about the Los Angeles artist Ben Connolly. If you're a fan of punk rock music, Ben Connolly is one artist who should be on your radar. Wanting to know more about Ben, I did some research looking up to see when he started and to find out a little bit more about him. I came across um, a website called Metalhead Community, and thank you guys so much for having more information about his background. So it turns out that he actually started music just last year in 2020. His first single was called Cocaine Head. After that, he released three more singles. They included Me and That Devil, a demo from 2020, Thanks for Something, another demo from 2020. And then this year he released Thanks for Something again, and that's the track that I first heard, which I really enjoyed. Music is always so much better when there's that heart and emotion in it, and Ben definitely has done this with his music. I think it's something that has been with him for a while. Um, You know, according to his bio, he said that, you know, music is the sound of emotions, and He basically uses music to channel his life experiences into song, you know, experiences he's had and struggles throughout his life. He's, you know, he's struggled with mental health and he had heartbreak. Also, he had struggles with drug addiction. He also had struggles with self-realization and who he was. But he took all this negative energy and he turned it into something positive through music. And this is a great thing because, you know, you have negative struggles, you have negativity in your life. And, you know, if you can channel it into something positive, then it's great. And he also has a really awesome sense of humor. You know, he's very tongue in cheek and witty and his music is exemplary of that as well. The outlet of music is also great just for having growth and learning from your experiences and you know it it kind of puts things into perspective to make you feel like you know even though things can be really crappy you know there's always something to smile about and there's always something to be thankful for and I think Ben definitely conveys this a lot in his music and it's really cool when artists put their personal struggles into music I think it makes it a lot more authentic and this song you know it is authentic and it, it has a very you know real sound to it So what you can expect from Ben is something raw and, you know, very skin on bone. And that's what we get in this new song, Thanks for Something. This song was another one of those personal struggles. It was actually written after a breakup. It's a sarcastic flip on the saying, thanks for nothing. It basically talks about how, you know, when you're in that relationship and everything seems perfect and the person is perfect and you have this whole, you know, idealization of them and you know you kind of see them for something that they may not really be until after you break up with them and then you're like oh crap that person totally was not right for me and that's basically what this song is about it's talking about how you know they were in this whole ideal of what they thought the relationship to be when in reality it was not really that they were just in that relationship love you know, potion where everything seems great, but then you break up and you're like, oh man, this person totally was not the right person for me. And it's cool that he makes light of it, you know? He's kind of like getting through the breakup by talking about it and making fun of it and being humorous and saying like, hey, you know, thanks for something, even though you really didn't help me, but now I feel like I'm in a better place. So that's good, right? Though it's a short track, I think it's only, it literally clocks out to about a minute and 12 seconds. It's going to be over before you know it, but it has a lasting impact and it will be with you and it'll make you want to listen to it again because it has a lot of fire. It has a lot of energy. It has a lot of upbeat, especially if you're into like punk music. This is definitely one of those quintessential punk tracks that has a lot to say and a really awesome sound. Another thing that's interesting about Ben is that he's done all of the instrumentation on this song. He played guitar, bass, vocals, as well as the digital drum programming. So that's pretty neat. He's kind of like a one-man band. 
when it comes to his sound and bands that you would put him in a similar bucket with, um, he's been compared to artists like Clutch, At the Drive-In, All Them Witches, and The Black Keys. Ben's also been getting a lot of love from the blogosphere. I'm going to take a short break, but when I get back, I want to chat a little bit about all the great stuff that's been said. Hey guys, I am back, and now I want to chat a little bit about the perception of Ben on the blogosphere. He's been getting a lot of really great rave reviews, not only for his song, but also the music video that accompanies it. And I want to mention this just before I forget it, because he does have a really cool video, and the video is him in the shower, and he's literally washing off, you know, I would assume it's metaphorical for him washing away his r relationship I'll leave a link to that YouTube video in the show notes and you can check it out if you're interested. It's a fun video to watch. I always like to look and see like what other people are saying about music because I'm, I feel like myself to be a very nice reviewer and, and I don't like to nitpick or criticize music because I feel like music is so different and everybody has different opinions and you know what one person thinks may not be exactly what the other person thinks. I tend to like things and I tend to like a lot of things. I have a very varied, um, I guess, a lot of different tastes in music. I, you know, I'll listen to something and I'm like, oh, I like that. And it could be like completely different genres. So I was interested in seeing like what people were saying about Ben Connolly and, and the reviews were positive. I think he had a lot of, you know, positive things said about him and the song and his music, which is great. And I thought it was interesting that his music was featured on a metal site. The website was metalheadcommunity.com. And I thought that was interesting because, you know, you don't really think punk as metal. I mean, they both do have high energy. So in that respect, you know, there is a similarity among them. Overall, he's had good reviews. A lot of the websites that featured him had nice things to say about his song and his energy. And, you know, there was one that was funny. It was literally, it started with the sentence punk with four exclamation points. And that was on um, nohoartsdistrict.com, which I thought was funny. They had a really cool review and you know, they had a lot of really great things to say. Um, also, Tattoo.com had a good review. They featured him as well as CaliforniaRocker.com. And I can leave links to all of these in the show notes if you want to check out the other reviews. There was a good quote on Tattoo.com. It was in regards to David Gerard's and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, observation basically of life is hard, then you die, then they throw dirt in your face, then the worms eat you. Be grateful it happens in that order. I really like that quote, and I feel like it resonates well with the song. There was also a mention of this song being great for a TikTok video. It was on the website alternativenation.net, and I thought that was really great because, you know, it is true. The song is short, but it's, you get the whole song, and it's perfect for TikTok. As I said, I'm not really a big criticizer, and I find to look on the positive side of things I guess and think about like what I like about the song versus what I don't like about the song um when I did look at the reviews I was kind of interested to see like what other criticisms were out there and what people were saying or what they didn't maybe like about the song one thing I came across was that they thought that the standards were kind of just decent like they you know they said that it wasn't properly balanced and it was kind of not really polished I wonder if that was something he was going for with this song because it is punk rock and it's raw and sometimes you know a lot of punk rock is distorted and doesn't sound like polished music regardless of all that I enjoy the music and I'm excited to see what else Ben has to come out with according to opium.com this is actually the first song off his upcoming debut EP called things to do in Williams AZ so enough chatting about the track how about I play it for you and then you can let me know what you think just want to give you a heads up that there are a lot of F-bombs dropped in this song, so if you're sensitive to explicit lyrics, you may want to fast forward the podcast about a minute and 12 seconds. Without further ado, here is Thanks for Something. Yeah. 
enjoyed learning about Ben Conley and listening to his music. If you have any comments, you can leave an audio message in the link below. For more on Ben Conley, you can check out his website, benconleymusic.com. You can also follow him on Facebook at Ben Conley Music, Twitter at Ben Conley underscore music, and Instagram at ben.conley.music. I'll also leave links to these in the show notes. Hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening to the Eat, Sleep, Breathe Music Podcast. To find new music and learn more about what we do, you can check out our website at www.eatsleepbreathemusic.com.